the company will try to see that how to minimize the loss and at the same time try to provide an insurance cover for the insured person. It is the job of the underwriter to fix the premium for any insurance cover that is being given by the organization. Loss minimization to what extent the insurance company will go ahead and try to see that they are able to reduce the loss here. Good morning and welcome to the model question paper solving and principles and practice of general insurance fourth semester BCom where we are going to talk about a very very important questions that are likely to come in your examination. Now starting here let's go with the section A where we're going to talk with the five markers answer any four questions each question will carry five marks so here we have four into five twenty marks. The first question that's coming up here is write the exclusion exclusions from loss on profit policy very important question just have a look into the question write the exclusions from loss on profit what is loss on profit that we are trying to talk about the loss of profits policy is formulated to cover the likely monetary loss incurring from the break in business activity that may arise due to physical loss of property by an event covered for the insurance. Very, very interesting and important factor that we have to know. Why? Because whenever we are talking about the loss of profit that means to say that the insurance company will try to formulate a policy by which they can reduce the monetary loss that is going to happen to the business so that is what you need to write at the beginning the introduction next comes in the consequential loss policy which means business interruption policy which offers indemnity which offers a safeguard against the loss of gross profit which is nothing but the sum of the net profit and standing charges as a result of the loss of production caused by the accident which is under the material damage policy please look at the key points material damage policy those keywords have to be mentioned in your paper apart from covering the loss of gross profit it also covers increased cost of working which relates to the expenses incurred for reducing or minimizing the various factors the turnover but not more than that was perfectly avoided so what happens here is that when we are talking about the loss we have to mention in our paper clearly that how the company will come up with the policy will come up with an idea through which they will reduce the loss at any given point of time. Now the next thing is write a note on average clause. Now what do you mean by average clause? The word itself is very very simple that is given to you average that means you need to somewhere square it off. So now what we're trying to do is that the average clause start with the answer like this the average clause is defined as a clause in insurance policy where it is defined it's defined in the insurance requiring you to bear a proportion of loss if your assets were insured for less than their full replacement value so that's what we are trying to say it says that you will have to bear a proportion of loss so this is how you will start the answer followed by the answer also says this proportion is the sum of the amount for which the assets were under insured underline this word under insured that means they were not insured for the full amount full value expressed as a percentage of their indemnity value at the time of loss so at that level say for example the price of your asset is 100 rupees that's your value but you have insured it for 80 rupees that means to say that there is a 20 percent under value that has gone here so that has to be understood very very clearly in the average clause factor this is really just another way of saying that if your property is insured less than the actual value to replace it 
your insurer will pay out a percentage of your claim. So your insurer will go ahead and will claim a percentage out of it. They will say that, yes, this is the problem under which it has to be added up. It has to be taken into the claim factor altogether. So definitely your insurer will pay out for the claim. Now, the next question, what is a salvage and loss minimization? Please be very careful about the terms that have been spoken up. When you read through the question, take time, try to understand what has been written on the question paper. Normally, what happens in the principles and practice of general insurance is that you just want to go with a mindset that I know the answer and you would start writing it. Please don't do it that way. Instead, go through the question. Try to understand what is a salvage? What do you mean by loss minimization? Now let's go into the answer. A relationship of trust and mutual respect rights would result in loss minimization of the motor claims. Now that is a very, very open factor that we have acknowledged, that we have understood. Motor insurance was started in 1885 in England, whereas in India, the insurance was passed in 1938 and then it came into the act of the 1972. After this factor that has taken place, the era of private insurance, there are many people who have come here and they have tried to make you understand about the loss and the salvage value, which means to say here, what we typically tend to do here is that we would try to understand what is the loss factor that is happening because of an incident, because of a particular factor that's taken into. So the company will try to see that how to minimize the loss and at the same same time try to provide an insurance cover for the insured person. So that is what we call as the loss salvage value here. The next one. Out of this, see, when we are talking about this values, now look into it. The insurance premium is about 65 to 75 percent of the average claim ratio for the own damage, and at about 150 percent goes for the third party claims against the ideal claim of 40 to 50. So, now what happens here is that the motor insurance business portfolio is definitely a loss making portfolio. Why does this happen? Most of the time, there is always some or the other accidents that takes place because of which that leads into some sort of a problem that leads into some sort of scenario where you are not able to get the claim where you are not able to satisfy the factors altogether so definitely this will lead into a loss making venture now, it is not surprising that at this age of cutthroat competition of the private players Insuring of commercial vehicles or for PSU units will try to avoid the comprehensive units for this vehicles which are more than five years old. Now what happens in the motor insurance business is that people forget to take a comprehensive policy and as the age of the vehicle starts going up higher and higher, it's a high premium that they have to play and the claims will also go on the higher side because the chances of that vehicle getting into an accident prone zone will be higher. So what companies will try to understand is the loss for the salvage value, the last value what that is remaining about the asset and how to minimize the loss in the given time period. Now, followed by write the methods of premium rate making. What are the methods of premium rate making? Now, how do you write that? Closely associated with the underwriting is the rate making function. So how do you do it? If, for example, the underwriter decides the most important factor in discriminating between the different risk characteristics. So key point here is that the underwriter will find out the differentiation between the different risk characteristics that have been spoken about. The rates will be differentiated according to the age factor. Very, very important here. The rate is the price per unit in a fire insurance. For example, the rate may be expressed as $1 or $100 of the exposed property. If the insurer is $1000 of the exposed property, the premium will be $10. So what we are trying to do here is that we will try to find out the exposure value with the help of the underwriters and they will try to find out how the premium has to be decided for an insurance 
policy. It is the job of the underwriter to fix the premium for any insurance cover that has been given by the organization. Followed by write a note on burglary insurance. This is very, very simple and easy. Why? Because most of us know what do you mean by a burglary. Now, a standard burglary policy can be classified into three types. That is total loss, first loss and stock declaration policy. Such policies will be covering the loss or the damage that is caused to the property either by a forcible manner or by the violent entry into the premises. So for example, if a thief breaks into your home or makes any damage to your property or makes a voluntary entry into the property and then tries to take away your property or asset, any kind of damage that has been caused will be covered under the standard burglary policy. Now, the next question, list out the powers and duties of IRDAI, that's the Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India. Very, very important. This is the supreme body in insurance. Now, what are their issues? What are the factors they do? They issue certificate of registration. They protect the interest of the policy holders. They issue license to agents. Specify the code of conduct, promoting efficiency, insurance and business, undertaking inspection, conducting enquiries. All these things are being taken care by the IRDAI. Now, this is very, very important. Why? Because whenever we are talking about the IRDAI, these are the people who will have the complete authority with the insurance companies in terms of providing them the licensing, in terms of understanding the queries, the complaints, if there are any changes, if there are any new rules and regulations that have been brought up, all those factors shall be handled by the IRDAI. Followed by, now let's go to the part B where we're going to answer three questions of 10 marks. Explain the basic principles of general insurance. Most of us know about this, but yet it's a very, very important question that is likely to come in the examination. So we are going to start with the concept of insurance. It's risk distribution among a group of people. Hence, cooperation becomes the basic principle of the insurance to ensure proper functioning of the insurance contract. The insurer and the insured must uphold seven principles. We are going to look into those seven principles. The first one is utmost good faith, which means at any given point of time, all the knowledge, all the details that I have given to the insurance company is true to my knowledge and I'm not going to cheat the company at any point of time. Proximate clause, what is the nearest factor for which I'm taking up the insurance? Insurable interest for on what am I taking the insurance? Indemnity, what are all the backup clauses? The subrogation method followed by contribution, how much will be that will be taken in terms of the insurance factor and the loss minimization to what extent the insurance company will go ahead and try to see that they are able to reduce the loss here. The next question, explain the various coverages of fire insurance. So you will try to understand what are the various coverage factor here. Now the types of fire policies are the normal type of standard fire policy and the allied perils policy. In a standard fire policy, what we will try to look, the insurance is going to be covered in case of the damage caused by fire, by lightning, by explosion or by implosion, any other kinds of external factors coming into picture, followed by the aircraft damage, the riot, the strike, malicious damages, storm, cyclone, typhoon, tempest, any of those kind of thing, impact damages, subsistence of landslide or bursting or overflowing of water tanks, missile testing operations, leakage from automatic sprinkler, bushfire, which means the fire that has been spread in the forest because of a sudden breakout of temperature going up higher from the plants. Now, this is where we are going to talk about this kind of fire insurance. Now, the next question is what is rural insurance and explain its scope? It is very, very important important question it has been repeated now rural insurance will try to ensure that families living in rural areas will have 
a safe and a secure future so that they can live a happy secured life so it is basically trying to concentrate on the rural india for the people who will be able to live a safe and a secured life the insurance helps them to cover the risk related to this aspect of their life the rural insurance policies come with affordable premium rates faster claim procedures and factors now what is a proposal form what are the contents of the proposal form that's the next question that we are going to look into now a proposal form seeks basic information of the proposer and the life that is assured this includes name age address education employment details of the proposer so the proposal form is the first level information gathering exercise that is going to look into all the historical details of the insured person every insurance company will provide a proposal form which has to be filled up by the person who is taking the insurance so that they come to know across all the details including the medical history of the person this is very very important so when you write in your examination please give out these keywords and then you can expand on the answer and write the next question is explain the functions of TPA the third party administrator TPA stands for third party administrator so a third party administrator is an intermediary a person who is in between the insurance company and the policy holder their job is to simplify the claim procedure definitely yes under health insurance policy so they will try to come in between the insured person and the insurance company so that they can reduce on the formalities they can make the process simpler and they will be able to guide them how to do on the claim factor the authorities at the tpa will scrutinize what they will try to do they will try to look into the bills they will try to look into the different factors whether all the documents are clear whether the claim is legible whether the claim is correct as it allowed under that particular policy so they are basically people who will check each and every process that is involved in terms of claiming an insurance process followed by now we'll go to the 15 mark question you have to answer two questions so 2 into 15 will be 30 marks the first question will be define general insurance explain the organization structure so when we talk about define general insurance if you go through the question itself you will be able to understand basically they want you to open up in terms of writing and explain what you have understood about general insurance so now if you see a policy or agreement between the policy holder and the insurer which is considered only after realization of the premium so only after the premium the relationship is built a premium is paid by the insurer who has financial interest on the asset factor the next one insurer will protect the insured in case of loss that's the next point because the primary job of an insurance company is to protect the person at any given point of time the next one is insurance is a concept that applies to large group of people which may suffer from the same risk in that particular region so I always say that insurance is a collective process insurance is not about an individual person's loss or gain but insurance is a collective process which will look into what are all the activities how we can look into it the money collected as premium can be called as a pool and from that pool we try to generate it and we look into it in terms of any loss happening to others we will try to look into it and we will try to hold it all across now what is a marine insurance explain the various marine insurance policy that we are going to talk about now we know marine insurance is a type of insurance that provides coverage against any damage or loss for the cargo vessels ship terminals and the goods that are transported from one point to another point so it's very very important marine insurance is basically an insurance that will 
will try to cover the transportation done through ship for the cargo vessels, all the goods that are being transported, how they are being transported, what are all the factors, what is the point of origin, what all the activities that take place during the transport of the goods, the terminals, the hull policy, all those things will be covered under marine policy. So when you write this answer, first give an introduction about marine policy, then try to explain about the various activities of the marine policy, what are all the coverage factors, what are all the perils that are involved in the marine policy. You can also give a recent examples in this and then finally you can conclude about the benefits of marine insurance followed by discuss in detail about the popular health insurance policy. Now this is a very very generic question why because they themselves have given in the question discuss in detail popular health insurance. There are many more popular health insurance policies in India. Now health insurance is one of the newest and the youngest policy sector that has been emerging in India. Why? Because if you look into the Indian demographics altogether, more than 50% of India's population are youngsters, primarily, you know, people who are between the age bracket of anywhere between 20 to 30 years. That's where we are seeing a large growth which is happening and this is concerned about 1.3 billion people in India so definitely a very large market so you can talk about the benefits of why health insurance is important and how the health industry in India has rapidly become one of the most important sectors in terms of providing job coverage and also value to the people so definitely health insurance is going to be a very big sector that's going to cover millions of people followed by explain the underwriting process. Now, this is also a very, very interesting topic for all of us to know. Underwriting is a mortgage lender's process of assessing the risk of lending money to you. So first thing what they do, they will try to assess the risk that is involved in terms of giving an insurance, in terms of giving a claim or a benefit to you. Now, when a policy is being decided, a mortgage underwriter will verify your identification, credit history, your financial situation. Is this plan good? Is this person can be given an insurance? What are the different factors? How we need to look into it and how you have to maintain the reserves, the ratio, all the financial assets will be valued. And finally, the underwriter will make a premium claim that is available for you, that is suited for you based on the type of insurance that is taken. Now with this, I come to the end of this particular session. I hope and believe that all the information that has been shared through this session will be of a great value and benefit to you. So in the examination, make the best use of these questions and answer. Try to answer them neatly legible with relevant examples and try to attend the question paper to the fullest extent possible. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.